Patrice.co here and today we are finally going to tackle that project for the foldable thick lounge chair that I thrift a couple of months ago actually it was last year I do a lot of thrifting online there's a lot of free online forums as well as carousel any other uh, places downstairs my neighborhood the dumpsters you name it I would take things back because those items that I curated, you know, I find them, they speak to me and there are certain things that I visualize. And this portable lounge chair, actually I thrift two of them. I managed to thrift them back for only $18 and I literally carry them on the public transport back home. This is how I do my thrifting. Actually, whatever ideas that you have inside your brain or you visualize, it can materialize as long as you put some effort in them or you put some elbow grease in them. If you have the correct tools, if you have the correct materials, you have the correct connection of things, it can work. You just need to do it, you know, like everything else in life. You just need to do it. I'm gonna show you how to change this into this. Okay? So a lot of times when you thrift items online, you would not be able to see the condition of it. You won't be able to tell what are some of the problems or foreseen issues you might face. And you have to have very clear conversations with your seller in order for you to buy items that is up to your standard or up to your understanding of refurbishing them. A lot of free forums online have very nice helpful members so they will tell you if there are certain things that is not functioning quite uh, well or they don't look as aesthetic because it's pre-loved. So you have to manage your expectations a little. And when it comes to this chair, all this finishing, it has to come out in order for any kind of stain dye spray to eat into the wood because as long as you have lacquer, varnish or any kind of protection um, on the wood itself, you would not be able to stick anything else on it and it will peel over time. It will not look as ideal as you have inside your head. That's why I'm going to start sending this thing down almost to, you know, like raw wood and then I will start the staining. So I'll see you guys in a bit, okay? So I have sand down the lounge chair. Um, I didn't really sand down the inside or the back because I figure out I'm not gonna see it anyway. I just sand whatever area that is visible. If I put it at home as best as I could, Alright guys, I am back after a day and a half of letting this item rest. So all in total, I spent about two and a half hours hand sanding this thing down. I have actually wiped this down with vinegar and water because I didn't have any mineral spirits at home. There will be raised grains after you sand it down and you wipe it down with any kind of liquid because that's just how wood react. You can sand it down with a higher grit, something that is like 240, 320, 400, so that it will just be smooth again. And then you can start your prep work for your stain, your protection layer, your lacquer, or whatever it is. So what? we have done so far is to prepare the surface for our stain. So this is this is the brand that I purchased. And this is actually one of the items from uh, Restrolium as well. You have to prepare your materials prior to any kind of staining and protection, one. And you have to let it do it layer by layer in between coats, two. The darker you want it, the more layers you can do. But do not sand in between because you're basically stripping off and starting all over again, wasting all the effort. And then number four, you have to let it dry thoroughly um, about eight hours or more. But in between coats, you can let it dry about an hour and a half to two hours just to be safe. The other thing that you need to take note is that when you're sanding or applying your stains or protection, you need to 
do it along the, the grain. Like, if the grain is this direction, you send this direction. If the grain is this direction, you send this direction. Just giving you a heads up. So because it has already a lot of discrepancies, bit of like wear and tear, I'm going to make use of that to my advantage to create a very rustic looking lounge chair. So now, if you guys can see, it's raining but not an issue. What we're going to do right now is wait for the first layer to dry for about two hours and then I'll apply the second layer. Then we will wait for it to dry for at least a day. After which I'm going to start applying the protection over it and I have some tricks up my sleeve. I'm gonna share with you guys, alright? For most of the DIY stuff that I do at home, there is one type of protection that I would always use things like you know deck chairs if you want it to be correct you might want to try a lacquer there are many different types of lacquer in the market anything that goes up to 30 40 50 dollars as it's out there so you're basically buying for the brand as well as you know the trust that it's going to work i personally would get a can of hairspray Yes, you heard it. I would get a can of hairspray. Any type of the old school type, the one with like good look or the uh, the one that is like hair net or something, I cannot find it because we're in the circuit breaker. So this type of old school hairspray, um, I need like the normal Udzindian and stuff like that in order to find it. Yeah, so this is the Getsby Long Keep hairspray. Long keep hairspray is super hard. I get the super hard type. You might be surprised. It picks the damn thing. Do not quote me, guys, okay? But use the correct stuff. But if you are okay with it, you can try it. I myself, when I go out, usually sometimes, I would use hairspray to fix my makeup as well. So that's one of my hacks. And I'm going to use this hack on the chair because I'm not using $30 a can of lacquer or protection for the chair. Oh, the other thing you can use if you're feeling really, you know, you're feeling it, you can try to get wax as well. Wax is really good. Um, soft wax that you can use a brush and then you brush into the wood, let it sit for another 24 hours, it will suck everything up and then you're set because it acts as a moisturizer, it acts as a protection, it acts as a fix for the wood after staining. Okay, shall we? So we are done with spraying the hairspray. I'm gonna let it sit for another day and then we'll come back and I'll show you the final result. Hi! So apparently I have to do an outro like this because when I was setting up the outro earlier, I forgot to click like record i really love the outcome of the lounge chair the color is so different from its original state and i really love that deep rosewood type of stain i want it to be a different um wood tone from the portable photo frame tray and now i have the lounge chair to go with that set of look i took a couple of pictures of how I'm gonna stage the the final look of everything. Uh, Vanessa and I have actually been in discussion about some of the concrete projects she's gonna do at home. So let's keep a watch out for that. I'm already preparing more DIY projects at home for you guys for the next few weeks until the circuit breaker is over. You know, if you're doing any DIY projects, like and share, tag us on IG, on Facebook, we we'll would love to, you know, exchange ideas with you guys. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask us. I'll see you guys in the next video, okay?